We're in front of my loud ass flow hood again. Uh, I'm gonna flow in a couple more of these. Um, if you guys actually want to see what I'm doing, since this video is for YouTube, head over to my Patreon. The link is in the, in the description. So I'm going to sterilize my scalpel here. We're going to clone these two fruits and I'm going to swab them and then I'm going to make some multi-spore plates today. So that's what I'm after right now. I want to start a bunch of spore plates from this leucistic strain that popped up in one of my tubs. Uh, like I said, check out my Patreon if you want more details on that. But right now, I'm going to take a couple tissue samples real quick. One on each fruit. So we're going to split the stipe open because this has not been exposed to air. And that is as sterile as it's going to get. So we're just going to take a tissue sample from inside the stipe here. Ooh, there we go. All right. We're just going to quickly drop that on the plate. Don't put it away. Okay. Tissue sample one. We're going to go into the next mushroom. So I'm going to flame sterilize my blade again in between each different use of it. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to split the stipe open. going to take a small tissue sample, actually a rather large tissue sample. I've found the small samples don't really do much. So I've started taking a little bit bigger ones. Sometimes you don't need much, but I like to get a little bit here. And definitely could have used a sharper blade for this. All right. Now without hovering, we're just going to drop it in there, put that away, and label it. Okay. Next, and this is really what I'm about right now because I already cloned those last night. Now we're going to take some spores. Now I've verified on a microscope that there are spores in here. So I'm going to go ahead and swab these gills. So what we're going to do here now is we're going to take this plate and do this and we are just going to hold it back here and we're going to streak this whole thing. All right. We're going to try and get as many spores on this plate as possible and then we're going to turn it and then we're going to do it again. All right, and then we're going to close it up. And that's that. I'm going to put this away now. And that's how you streak the plate. I don't know if you can see it in that light. But that's the way I like to do my multi-spore plates. So I make sure that I get a lot of spores over a lot of area. Um, and then you'll see the pairs germinate. And again, these translucent spores, you're not going to see them at all on the surface. So I verified on the microscope that they're in there. So I have high hopes for this. I'm going to wrap it up. And we'll give this a week or so, and hopefully we'll see some uh, some germination. So I'm going to do that a couple more times on these smaller plates, and then uh, yeah, it's pretty easy. Hope you learned something today. Um, let me know uh, in the comments if you want to see anything else, and please go check out my new Patreon. Um, you have a chance to actually get some of these genetics I work with, see a little bit more of what I work with. Uh, I just launched it. Uh, I'm going to be very active there, and you'll get all of my YouTube content there advertisement free. So go check it out. Thanks, guys. Peace.